Hello everyone, today we're looking at the grouping of plants and we're going to look at groups such as tracheophytes versus bryophytes. We're also going to look at gymnosperms versus angiosperms. We're going to look at monocotyledon versus dicotyledon. And monocotyledon and dicotyledon will be our main focus for today. Now, before we dive into the content, we need to familiarize ourselves with the terms conifers, gymnosperms, tracheophytes, bryophytes, angiosperms, monocotyledon, and dicotyledon. Now, once you're going to group plants, plants are grouped into two broad categories. One is the non-vascular plants, and those are called bryophytes. And bryophytes, they have no true roots, no true stems, and no true leaves. And we have the other category, which are the vascular plants. And vascular plants, they are called tracheophytes. And tracheophytes, they have true roots, true stems, and true leaves. Now, examples of non-vascular plants or bryophytes include algae, mosses, liverworts, and onwards. Now, vascular plants can be further broken down into two other categories, one that are seed-bearing plants and the other are seedless plants. And when we want to talk about seedless plants, we're talking about, about plants that bear spores instead. A typical example of that is fern. Now, the seed-bearing plants can be broken down into angiosperms and those that produce flower. And so we call those flowering plants. So angiosperms are flowering plants. And we have though that category of plants that we call gymnosperms. And gymnosperms are the same thing as conifers. All right? And so gymnosperms, they bear cones with seeds. A typical example of a gymnosperm is the pine trees. Now for angiosperms, which are flowering plants, can be broken down into monocotyledon and dicotyledon. So dicotyledon and monocotyledon, they are flowering plants. All right, so let's take a look now on monocotyledon versus dicotyledon. For monocotyledon, those are plants with one cotyledon. For dicotyledon, those are plants with two cotyledons. Monocotyledon, they are plants with one seed leaf. So notice the germinating corn, only one seed leaf is there. And for dicotyledon, those are plants with two seed leaves. And notice the germinating bean with two seed leaves. For monocotyledon, they are plants with narrow leaves. So notice the blade or the leaf of a grass, you notice that the leaf is narrow. Dicotyledon now, they are plants with broad leaves. So look at this typical plant here, very broad leaf. Now for monocotyledon, they are plants with parallel leaf veins. And notice that the veins within this leaf, they are running beside each other like highways or tracks. Now for dicotyledon, they are plants with branching leaf veins. And notice the network pattern of the veins throughout the leaves or a leaf looking like web or a net. Now for monocotyledon, they are plants with fibrous roots. And notice that all the roots are coming from one central point versus dicotyledon, they have top roots, and the top root meaning there, are, there is one main root, and there's other roots branch from that main root. For monocotyledon, the petals are in multiple of threes, and look closely, you see in six petals, but they are multiples of threes. In other words, they are in levels of threes. So notice those that are marked with red, those petals, they are the lower level, 
and then on top of those you have another layer marked in purple so we have layer one layer two and only three petals are in each layer so regardless of the number of petals they must be grouped into grouping or layers of threes and so for dicotyledon plants they are plants with petals in multiples of fours or fives and so notice here for a hibiscus plant there are five petals all right there is only one level but there are five petals all right so if you should have more than one levels you may see five petals in one level and then another five petals in another level all right now for monocotyledon stems the vascular bundle is pretty much in a scattered pattern while in dicotyledon the vascular bundles they are normally arranged in a ring pattern a quick summary of the differences between monocotyledon and dicotyledon monocot one cotyledon dicotyledon two cotyledons for monocotyledon one seed leaf two seed leaves for dicotyledon narrow leaves for monocot broad leaves for dicot parallel leaf veins for monocot while we have branching leaf veins for dicot and we have petals in multiples of threes for monocot while, it, while for dicotyledon we have petals in multiples of fours or fives again for monocotyledon the vascular bundles they are in a scattered fashion while that for dicot the vascular bundle is in a ring pattern all right and so we're going to close at this time and please stay beautiful and of course do the right thing and subscribe talk to you soon